What is up guys, we are back some more next time on Extinction and we're heading up to like the upper left uh, area on this map. Uh, as usual, was expecting a fight. It's funny how I didn't really even like notice this first coming through that I could go to like these different paths. Young Tamer, what is humanity's greatest sin? The downfall of Omicron, the true king of monsters, of course. Now look at our miserable world. The natural order of the planet has been forever scarred. Tell me, Blades. Is it not right to bring back the ancient king? Is it not right to atone for our sins? Ha! You cannot reach me now, puny tamer! <laughs> We're decisive? <laughs> Coco's judging like crazy. <laughs> Nobody told me you could do that. <laughs> Okay, now I kind of wish I started off with, uh, with water. Uh, well, now that I got the paralysis off there, I'm gonna switch to Domigator. Oh, great. Just what I wanted you to do, switch into something electric. I'll use Sacred Mineral again, cause just because that was kind of cool to use. Oh wow, it did more than I expected then. Well, that's awkward. And you paralyzed us. <laughs> Can we get a leech? We did not get a leech. Okay. Bruh. One, one HP left. Nani? Oh, and then you outsped? Wow. 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 <laughs> now you want to be paralyzed? Can't use Wazer, he's uh, paralyzed right now. Wow, you that was a good prediction. They predicted I was gonna switch into that? <laughs> okay. Empyreon. I need to catch one of these actually, or, or evolve one of the Nexomon to this, because uh, I have to give this Nexomon to someone. Uh, I think they want fire Nexomon because they're freezing or something. That's actually the uh, the fire starters fun. I'm glad I didn't choose fire. I don't like that design too much. Not gonna lie, it looks like they tried too hard. Well, that's just my opinion. Damage received from the. From the next mineral type attack is nullified and instead restores 50% of the damage as HP. See, that's only useful if I really want to use it against like another mineral type, which I'm most likely not going to do. Type advantage is like the biggest thing in this game, so why would I send out a mineral to fight a mineral just like that? Unless for like stalling purposes, I could see, but no. Not too shabby, Blades. Hmm. Funny thing, these cultists, you might think that I'd support their idea of resurrecting Omnicron. But no, what this world needs is something that my father never had. You have aged well, Atlas. Mm? I heard that you're here to help fight against the tyrants. Good luck with that. You're fine with this? I thought you hated humans. I don't care about the miserable humans. The crisis that we are facing is far bigger than such menial quarrels as you will soon witness. Besides, I don't like any of the tyrants out there. The idea of them taking over my father's throne isn't funny. 
At least one tyrant has to win to become the king. Surely there's a good one. Yes, a worthy tyrant to take the throne does in fact exist. It lies dormant inside that egg of yours. How can you be so sure? Do you understand when the egg finally hatches? No, the fact that it needs multiple elements? Come on, that just outright says ultimate Nexomon. Is that why the ghosts have been helping us? They believe that Omicron's true successor will hatch from this egg? Right, but where did the egg come from in the first place? Great question that I do not have the answer to. It just appeared. Okay, everybody's kind of good on health except Domigator, but that's fine. Um, now we can head out of here, though. If you're wondering what was in that chest, uh, it was a cosmic charm. Oh, so I did have to kill them all. <laughs> Excellent job, all of you. You have already proven to be some of the finest tamers in our guild. With the members of this cult defeated, their experiments have come to a halt. The town ought to be safe now. Hold on, the boss of these cults is nowhere to be found. Yes, something isn't right. Where's the leader? Did he just run away? No matter, I found their machinery in the chamber behind me. The destruction of said devices is our priority. Let's move. Dang, maybe I shouldn't have healed up uh, with Bonnie just yet. Unless she will heal me again. Oh, look at that. Spare supplies. Here, why don't you take these? Ultra elixirs. Blades, once we return to the capital, pay a visit to the medical building next to my lab. You really need to get that spinning problem checked out. <laughs> oh yeah, please do that. I need some closure. <laughs> I do not have a spinning problem. Undoubtedly, this is what has been upsetting the local Nexomon. I wonder if the original blueprints are nearby. Should any of you find the blueprints, they are to be destroyed. Ancient monsters are the last thing we need right now. But sir, the blueprints are invaluable. The greatest minds of a generation. The greatest psychopaths of a generation, Bonnie. Everything that is wrong in our world stems from Omnicron and his accursed offspring. Okay. If this quake was the doing of a resurrected monster, I swear. What do you swear, Edward? Oh, it's a dragon. A dragon? What is that thing doing here? Dang, this guy will be a tough one. Could this day get any worse? Two dragons. Yep. I hate my job. <laughs> uh, could this day get any worse? Please shut up, man. <laughs> yeah, don't make a third dragon pop up. Hey, you told me that dragons only attack tyrants. It's true, but something has gotten into them lately. Focus, we'll figure that out later. So, I guess... Yeah, I will handle this Drake. The rest of you team up against the other one. Okay, maybe I should have healed up. <laughs> it was a bad idea for me not to heal up. But, let me see about... Why did I try to... Yo! That hurt! <laughs> that hurt like crazy. What the heck? Even that did a lot. Uh, let's do a, a heal. Yeah, I had a feeling like we were going to get crit or something. We're going to just keep uh, Sycopha in. So we're going to try to get the poison proc. Yes, miss. Continue to miss. Volta hits extremely hard. I feel like we're now like we're never gonna get this poison proc. And that was a crit too.
I just need poison once. That's all I need. I just need to activate once. What is this? It's a... It's a 20% chance. So, like, 1 in 5 chances that you're gonna get poison and you don't get poison at all. This is, like, what, the 7th, 8th time I've used it? <laughs> Percentages are stupid. See, and it's getting those crits too. Those crits hurt. Okay, I might as well just use forest energy now. <laughs> I think two more forest energies to take it out. I should outspeed it with both attacks. I could have ended that sooner. I was just really focused on getting that poison proc. I look at that, 42. Mm-hmm. Bonnie, did the machine's activity attract the dragons? Negative. The dragons are engineered to seek tyrants, nothing else. Blaze report that that tyrant Navalis was here earlier. Perhaps that's what triggered the dragons. Negative, sir. Navalis is a relatively weak tyrant. The dragons wouldn't come this deep underground for such prey. Something entirely different lured them. Very well. It's the egg. It's the egg. I don't... I guess we're not going to tell them because we're not supposed to tell anybody. I'll review this later, but for now, we ought to embrace this victory. Let's go back to the guild outpost. You all deserve a rest. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I was like, are we going to talk to... Hey. Psst. Oh, it's the psychic. Oh, hey there, Blades. Long time no see, eh? No, I'm not dead. This is a psychic illusion. Anyway... I'm just making sure that you are fulfilling your destiny or whatever. The resurrection machine is a really nasty creation, ain't it? Too bad it doesn't work though. Not yet. Say, if you got your hands on the blueprints, what would you do? Huh. Oh, ho, 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 that's mischievous. I like you, Blades. I very much look forward to this project of yours. Here's a hint. The blueprints are somewhere in this room. Check the crates. If you find the blueprints, keep them and do not tell Edward, okay? Edward is a boring person. You want to have fun, don't you? Don't worry, when the time comes, you'll know what to do with these blueprints. <laughs> okay, sounds good to... Oh, you heard that? I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear any of that. Thank you. Whatever you do, remember that we must go back to the guild outpost in the frozen tundra to collect our reward. Talk to me if you want to leave now. Yeah, we're gonna click on these crates. Um, See if we can get anything out of them is it just these two crates in here oh yeah there we go let's see what um what it's like said with it a very complicated machine could be built with these okay well now we have that and then let's go back to the frozen chandra oh hey you got everything you needed are we leaving now yes indeed we are Let me just heal up the squad before uh, I go in there and get this reward. And most likely we might get promoted to Gold Tamer, actually. Which will mean more items for us to choose from in the store, as well as having to grind more rep just to also increase those items. Blades, your efforts have ensured the safety of this town, or perhaps the safety of the entire world, should that machine have actually worked. You have proven to be among the best members of the Tamer's Guild. On my authority as a Grandmaster, I hereby promote you to a Gold Tamer. Hey, we're about to do that spin too, huh? Whoop. Whoop, whoop. Got that golden badge. That's what I'm talking about. You do realize that this spinning thing isn't normal, right? Yes, I know. <laughs> oh, one more thing. A strange woman was looking for you earlier. She must be downstairs. Careful, though. She clearly has temper issues. It must be the girl that minds. <laughs> and here's your reward for saving the town, of course. Ah, yeah. Golden Exo Trap and a thousand coins. Excuse me. I have a guild to run during Amelie's mysterious absence. Don't worry, though. Amelie's a formidable tamer, so she must be fine. Oh, yeah. That's great to hear. <laughs> hey, why don't you guys tell Edward about Amelie's shenanigans? 
What if he's loyal to her? I don't want that guy chasing after us. Let's go downstairs and talk with Merida. Wait, so they're just going to tell us it's Merida? Okay, I already have that quest of beating up a ghost. She's going to teach us how to... Or she's going to give us her power. That's right. Hey, you don't look like a ghost anymore. We can materialize for a little while. It's easy to fool mortals. Anyway, I'm here to give you the remainder of my power, as promised. Oh, we don't need to visit your tomb? My tomb is far away in Palmaya. You don't have the time. Thanks. Hmm. Three elements absorbed in the egg still won't hatch. Why are you guys helping us, you and all your siblings? You should already know. The tyrant who are contesting my father's throne are worthless successors. They are feeble and pathetic. But this egg, it will become the ultimate tyrant. A true heir to Omnicron's lineage lies inside. How do you, how do you know that? It's just a dumb egg. Hmm. You will answer that yourselves in due time. Focus on hatching that egg, Blades. Feed it even more elemental power and you'll be invincible. Can we really beat Vados with this? Vados is a flawed human creation. Technically, not even a true Nexomon. Thus, he can never succeed Omnicron, a mere aberration. What lies in that egg is the supreme Nexomon. You will never lose. We will meet again, Blades. Oh, I just remembered. Nadine said that Lydia found Amelie's location. She wants to meet with us at the orphanage. Let's go. You have acquired Meridia's power. You can now freeze bodies of water. Try using it with the pool in this room. Oh, okay, that's gonna come in clutch. A challenge badge. That's the first time I've ever gotten a challenge badge. Let's look at that. Let's see. Tamers across the world will want to rematch. Oh, okay, that's just for faster rematches. I guess that's good if you want to, like, beat the crap out of a certain tamer over and over because you have, like, the elemental advantage or something. But as far as, like, anything else goes, I'm like, that. it's all right. I mean, with making all these cores, it doesn't seem that difficult to even uh, even level up now that you can put like four, you can put like four EXP cores on one of the Nexomon and it'll level up pretty fast. Let's see now. Lydia told us to meet her inside the orphanage. Why did she come all the way here though? I wonder if I can talk to that creepy tree. Um, she's not in here, is she? No, she must be in like the the left side um yeah let's see if she's in here yep there we go ah blades this is good oh what is that robot a robot hey there the name's atlas ah what's wrong have we met before i well oh my whoa it's so cool he's floating in everything for real, look at the design. Where did you find him, Blades? Hehe, <laughs> I'm the best sidekick. Look at Coco sweating. Ahem. Listen up, with Eliza's help, or Eliza's help, we may have found Amelie's location. You put in so much effort to no avail that I took pity. Let's see, Amelie is underwater. Underwater? She, she drowned? Shut up, Ross. There's an underwater city nearby. Seriously, I've never heard of it. It's hard to believe, but I've lived there for, a, I mean, a bunch of years, and I remember it well. In the old days, the Tamer's Guild was desperate to build safe havens to shelter humans from the tyrants. The capital city of Param, the underground stronghold of Ignitia, the skyward bastion of the Drake Isles. I wonder if the mentor is Omnicron, like, reincarnated or something. And finally, the underwater city of Cadian, because he's the one that gave us this egg. Cadium, it doesn't ring a bell. It was a failure among failures. The guild tried to erase it from history. Wow, really? What happened to it? I, uh... You know what? It'd be best if you saw it for yourselves. So Amelie is hiding in an abandoned underwater city. It's not exactly abandoned. Many of the original denizens refused to leave Cadium generations ago and chose to stay behind. Today, their descendants live with marginal knowledge of the surface world. Cadium was once known as the City of Science, with all sorts of equipment that Amelie could exploit. This is our chance to break into Cadium and sabotage her work. Bados must be there as well. We can end this, once and for all. How do we get there? I can't hold my breath for too long. Are you being dumb on purpose? 
I can guide you. I found a way to get you there. Come meet me outside the orphanage. Hurry up. Well, they told me that I shouldn't be taking on uh, Vados without my own uh, ultimate tyrant. So I'm kind of confused on, am I supposed to be going there? Cause I know like they kind of like let the game kind of set its own pace for how you want to explore stuff. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Over here, Blades. We're heading southwest beyond the camp. So guys, it worked out that I actually came in here um, on accident because I can now show you guys what the vaults look like. So I have one vault key. So this is vault number seven. Yes, we want to use our key. And now you can get like the coins, Tribute of Thunder. Okay. Oh, we got it. Okay, I actually wanted this companion, so that works out. So you get it from Vault 7. Uh, it's near uh, uh, Palmaya. When you go south, like as if you're trying to head there, and then you can pick up these coins too. Let me. Let me equip that companion on, actually. Dang, I thought if I hold, if I held it, it would, <laughs> it would work. But okay. So boom, guys, I came, I came across the mega rare. This is a uh, an ancient. Um, this is an ancient Nexomon, actually. I don't even know why I'm trying. I could have just thrown a golden Nexo trap at it right off the bat. I don't even know why I attacked it. But alright, we caught Florizard. Alright guys, now we're finally cutting south. I did a little detour inside that cave. As you saw, I showed you the, the vault. Um, what the vaults look like and basically the content that you can loot from it but all right so there's a submarine here well this is it in the old days people used this kind of vehicle to descend into cadium there used to be a lot of these emily probably has her own it appears locked great eye yes the deal decommissioned them i salvaged this one but never quite managed to operate it oh i could just plug into it and unlock the door you can do that so cool well, way to go, Atlas. Impressive. This robot is quite the asset. I have to agree, yes. Yeah, whatever. Just hurry up. Coco's jealous. Done. It's all good now. Just like that, guys. We're able to get inside the submarine. It's an old machine. It'll be a slow trip, or maybe it will explode. What? What was that? <laughs> it will be a slow trip? <laughs> So, oh, you might very well die. From what Lydia has told me, Vados is a true abomination. He is worse than any tyrant and must be stopped. Blades, you might soon confront Amalai. Depending on how things play out, you might even become the guild's enemy, a traitor. Keep that in mind before you descend into Cadium. But I mean, there's nothing else for me to do, like, other than, you know, other than descend there, like, I have to play the main story to even get my tyrant. This thing leads to the underwater city of Cadium. Are we going now? Yes, yes indeed we are. So it's not we're going to have a, a dragon attack us while we're trying to descend. All right, that was kind of lame. <laughs> All right, now we got the warp stone activated for here and we found an elixir. But uh, let's see, is there any like cutscene coming up if we walk it down here? Yep. Cadium, the city of science, huh? Those who stayed behind devoted their lives to research. The descendants must be amazing and enlightened people. Wants to be like the rudest, like most country people. Uh, Y'all. <laughs> 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 
they did not set us up for saying they're so sophisticated to those speaking gibberish. Oh, they're idiots. <laughs> it, it seems like they have developed a dialect of their own. Can you imagine paying a writer and getting this plot in return? <laughs> but this is the city of science. Your mentor did say that this place was some kind of failure. What happened here? What caused this? Let's find out. We need to scout this place. Someone might be able to communicate with us. It's our only hope to learn more about Amalai's whereabouts. <laughs> That's... That was great. I wasn't expecting them to literally have them speak gibberish. That's like when you slam your fingers on the keyboard or something. And that's like the same exact characters that'll come up. The city of Cadium. Alrighty. But guys, with that said, I'm in this episode off here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps the video a lot. And also subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying the content you see here. And with that said, stay sharp. Later.